All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this set of uh, laser cuttable wheels for one of these cars, as well as a basic body to attach the rubber band and, I guess, gearing system to. So this is kind of our final product, but to get here, we would open Adobe Illustrator and make a new file. Over here, you want to make sure you're set to inches, and we're going to choose 12 by 12 inches because that's the size of the board we're going to cut this out of. So making our artboard that size will make sure everything fits on the board we're actually going to cut it out of uh, and we can arrange things in a way that allows us to save as much material as possible. So we'll hit create. That's going to create this white square artboard. First thing we're going to do is get the basic profile of one of the wheels. So I'm going to click and hold on this rectangle over here to make sure I can click on ellipse. Now I'm going to hold down shift and just click and drag to draw out a circle. Doesn't matter the size at the first glance. I can click on my arrow tool here to start editing my circle. And I'm going to make this circle, let's say, four and a half inches in diameter by clicking on width, typing in four and a half, and hitting OK. So now I have a four and a half inch circle. I need another circle for the tiny hole where the dowel is going to go. So I'm going to click once on this and use Command C, Command V to copy and paste it. Only this circle, I don't want it to be four and a half inches, I want it to be 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch. So you'll notice it's a lot smaller. There are my two circles, but they're not lined up, and I want to make sure that this small circle is perfectly in the center of the big one. So I'm going to click and drag to highlight both of them. And then I'm going to use these alignment, uh, horizontal align center, to align them uh, along their horizontal centers, and hor vertical align center. So now my circles are perfectly aligned, and with them at the correct sizing and alignment, I'm going to right click on one of them and choose group. And so now I've made a single wheel that technically is ready to go to the laser cutter. Um, but what I might want to do is center that on my artboard and then zoom in and make it a little more interesting and maybe a little lighter weight to make my car go faster and further. So to do that, I could choose the pen tool over here. And I'm going to wait for it to snap to the center. And I'm just going to draw sort of three points. I'm going to make a triangle. Of course, you could do a lot of different things here to create cutouts in your wheel. So I'm going to, as close as I can get by eye, make an equilateral, or at least an isosceles triangle here with this leg and this leg being equal. Now I want this white arrow called the, the Direct Selection Tool. And I'm going to click once on this corner, hold shift, and click once on this corner to select both of them. And I want to convert them to smooth points. So you'll notice now I've made a more interesting looking sort of a guitar pick shape. If my points were too close to the top here, I had a really thin wall that was going to break. I can use my arrow keys while they're still selected to drag it down and um, you know, allow myself a little more thickness here so that my wheel is a little bit heavier but a little bit stronger. And so with that done the way I want it, I'm going to click once on my selection tool up here. I'm going to make sure that this shape is centered horizontally. Whoops, I need to click off and click back onto it. Horizontally centered. And then I could start with a vertical align center, but that doesn't really help me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it just horizontally, horizontally aligned to center relative to my wheel. I can click once on this shape, and what I want to do is repeat that in a pattern to create. I'm going to make a five-spoke wheel. Of course, you could make a narrower shape and make uh, a many more spoked wheel or a wider one and do like a three-spoke wheel. So I'm going to click on my shape. I'm going to go to Object, Repeat radial and by default it's going to create eight of them and they're too big so I can come over to repeat options and I'm going to reduce this down until it says five and then I'm going to also reduce this diameter a little bit I can go ahead and make sure my alignments are centered so I'm going to click again horizontal and vertical align center and then I'm going to reduce the diameter until it looks about right so to me that looks pretty good. I've got just enough thickness that my wheel will be strong, but I'm removing a lot of material to keep it light. So I'm going to check off of here. And now I've made a pretty interesting shape. This is a you know a five-spoke wheel with these kind of cool curved guitar pick cutouts. So I want to save this as a group so I can treat it like one object. So I'm going to highlight, right-click, and choose group. If I hit Command-0, I can zoom out and see my entire artboard. And now I've got my wheel in a way that is ready for laser cutting, and I can drag around. So what I'm going to do is use my alignment to snap it to the left side of my artboard and the top of my artboard. Now I can use Command C and Command V to duplicate it. I'm going to snap this one also 
to the top of the artboard, and then I'm going to hold shift and drag till it's just a little bit of space so that these two wheels are both along the top edge of my artboard, but they have a little bit of a gap in between them. I'm going to highlight my two wheels and say group. And then if I wanted to make four of these, I would copy and paste that group, align it to the left side, and then just drag it down again, holding shift until I had a little bit of space. I actually could save even more material by sort of packing them in like this. So that looks good. My wheels are laid out in a way that is leaving me a lot of room down here for the body of my car, which I might create by grabbing my rectangle tool, drawing any old rectangle, and then coming in, unchecking this um, so that my aspect ratio isn't locked, and then typing in some dimensions. So maybe I want this to be 8 by 3 inches. And so now I have an 8 by 3 inch rectangle that I can move around. If I wanted to round the corners of it, I can drag in on any of these little circles. That looks a little bit more interesting. And of course I could go through, if I wanted to, I'm not sure where you're going to be mounting parts for your rubber band uh, mechanism, but if I knew where those were, I could go through and remove some of this material, maybe to reduce some more weight. So maybe I was able to remove some from the front and a little bit more from the back. Excuse me. You know, um, I can actually align these two to their uh, centers as well. And I could make this a curved rectangle. So maybe this is the body I want. But basically, this file is now ready for laser cutting. As long as I have a stroke on everything, um, it all fits within the artboard without hanging off. So something like that would not work because it's going to miss this part of your wheel. Um, but my stuff is laid out. It all fits within 12 by 12 inches. And this is ready to go. So what, the last thing I need to do is choose File, Save As. And I want you to save this on your computer under your name. And so what I might do is go to Downloads or wherever I wanted to save this. And I would call it Mitchell Christ, um, I guess, Rubber Band Car. And I would make sure it says Adobe Illustrator and click Save. So the last thing you're going to do is upload this to a Google Drive folder with all of your classmates' designs that your teacher will share the link to with you. Um, and then that way, when you come into the lab as a class, I can download all of your files. They're all labeled by your name, and we can go through and throw the wooden laser cutter and cut all of your different designs.